gonna tell the people this, cause I'm sitting here, like I'm starstruck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan of music, man. So. Yeah, what you see is good. That's what, you know, a lot of people ask me, what's the first thing I need to do to get for DJing? You know, cause I've been DJing since '91, and I, I tell them, it's not a piece of equipment. I said, the first thing you need to do is get a love for music. If you got a love for music, it's easy. Street. <laughs> Rest of it. All right, Louisville. Uh, I'm here at a and right? Yeah, that's music. A&F Music Group, 1160 West, West Indian, Indian Trail. Trail. Look, and it's Indian Trail. If you come down the street right beside the old Ace Hardware, it's directly behind the McDonald's. Now, look, I told him I'm in here starstruck because these brothers have been giving me a history on Louisville music going all the way back to the A. These cats, if you look at the wall, these cats have worked from everybody, if you know music, from Static Major to Player to, if you really into your hip-hop, to Cool Daddy Fresh. <laughs> so look, <laughs> I'm going to let Raymond tell you, yeah. tell you, look, let me give you a glimpse of the studio let you know that it's real. But, let's walk in the sound booth. Yeah? Cut them lights on, man. But, if you, but definitely, if you're, if you're a local, if you're not a local artist, you're from anywhere, you're into music, you definitely need to come check out the studio and come here and do some recording. For them, for them, for them shy cats that the skirt knowing about them, uh, we we set the move for them like this. Like turn the lights off in the booth. Yeah, <laughs> turn the lights off in the lights off in the building. We got blue lights in her, her, the main booth, and then we got like green green lights. We got lights in the hall of the hall. We call this the hall of fame. The hall of fame. Who's all on the wall? Oh, we got big in the pocket cars. Plus, for y'all who don't know, y'all know I'm deep in that martial arts. Come on, it's Jim, Jim Kelly. Kelly's from Kentucky. And some Kentucky fist in the hands. Of course, the Raven Federation, you did the World Competition Team. You know my peoples is on the wall. <laughs> it's right here. It's chaos. It's J Rock in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Black AP. You know what I'm saying? Henry Parker. That's the one they was called chaos. Was that back nineties? Yes, sir. Yeah. I, hey, to show you how far we go back, our high school folk photographer teacher did our bios for us and our and our glossies and our eight by tens, you feel me? And they was posted up in Better Days West. You feel me? Down there with uh South Central Cartels and the rest of them. It's right here. This is the A and F music group, that's Big Row. That's Verse, that's J Dash Chrome. This is when they was opening for Twister. You know what I mean? Shit J Rock. Doing his thing on the ones and two of course. Right here. First, General, that's his solo album, Chrome solo album. Of course, yeah, we got player on now. Come on, man. We got to pay homage. We'll be Louisville for one player. Man, come <laughs> on, man. What y'all hear? It's a &F Music Group. Almost all our releases. This ain't even everything, but it's just a drop in the water. Cause we got static by itself. You must know Kelly Michelle because she's telling me thanks, telling me to tell you thanks for sending her the music. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I sent up some of my album, man. I, man, I... We go laugh sometimes, and I be freestyling. That's how I keep. That's how I stretch my vocals. She told me she said freestyle for us. <laughs> it's, class, it's classic thug. That's J Rock and AP's album when they became just a two man group. It's called the Spliff. I said I'm on that album. Said I'm on Dead album. Uh, so tell me about it. Well, look, let me grab you in for a minute. Okay. Now you said you used to work for Def Jam. Yeah. What was you doing at Def Jam? I did what, what year were you at Def Jam? 95. 95. 95 to 2000. So what were you doing over at Def Jam? I did uh, marketing. I did regional marketing for Def Jam. We had the Midwest. Uh, we actually had an office set up and paid for uh, here in Louisville by Def Jam. And uh, their goal at the time used to be Def Jam was an East Coast company. So their goal, they hired me and another a uh, buddy of mine being uh, because they wanted to expand. Wherever the record sales were low, they wanted to put an agent in that area. So that's why we got home. So look, Louisville, you know you have some experience in the build. You have somebody that's worked in the record industry as well as, man, these brothers in here got 30 plus years in, in producing music, man. So so if they come to uh, A&F, tell them what all they can look forward to as far as far production. Man, we're going to give you some nice production. If we don't have it in-house, we're going to get it for you. You know what I'm saying? We connected to John Wu, G Sharp, uh, seeing our in house man. He's, he's incredible. We got another cat, call him Uncle Charles, Young Chuck. He's a monster too. That's I go to VP, I go person to general. What's going on, my uh, man? <laughs> man, you can expect nothing but the best, and we're going to give you total professionalism. You know what I'm saying? We don't just push buttons. You know what I'm saying? We intervene, meaning we give you insight. So if you can't take constructive criticism, it's probably ain't the place for you. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be understanding if you come in here and you're doing music, 
the music you taking away from her has our name a stamp on it. So we want that music to be the best it can be. Not only just for us, for you, but for us too. So I'm saying so you could you could kind of love that and respect that. I mean anybody can hit a button, but can you can you engineer, can you produce, can you engineer, can you motivate, can you create? Creativity is the key. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's where we come in at. You know what I'm saying we can get fancy with it. We can we can make you sound good. We can, well, we're going to make you sound good. Even if you can't sing, we get through with you. You're going to sound like you can sing. Shit, I might make me a record before I get out of here. <laughs> we're going to hey, take it from Murray Hyde to Murphy Blige. You know what and saying? we do and we do all genres of music. It's all genres. Not just hip hop. No, sir. Um, uh, somebody made the step to us the other day and they like, ah, oh, they mess with that rap stuff. But no, we do we do gospel. We do rock. You do it all, uh, yeah, jazz music. We do it. <laughs> so as far so as far as uh as far as software, I heard you mention on equipment. I heard you mention the Fruit Loops and the. Well, we got the Fruit Loops. We got Reason. We have the Phantom. We have the Moti. We have the uh, Machine. Uh, we have the Oxygen Forty Nine. We have the Ovation. Uh, uh, any 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 form of music production production. I'm sorry, programming. We got it. Uh, we working with the Pro Two Twelve HD. Pro Tools 12 HD. But you ask McKellar, is Ben still here? Is Ben still here? He's, that's, that's our East Coast division. Oh, uh, okay. Ben is in Connecticut, and he runs our East Coast. He's in Connecticut, Kelly. Yeah, we have an yeah. East Coast studio set up, and he runs that one. Uh, we got uh, we got Pro Tools A in here. It's, I mean, this is Booth A. Uh, Say Booth A? Yeah. This is B. Yeah. So there's other booths? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Booth A. B's over here. Let me see Booth B. I know you're in the studio. You got Rock Him the God on the wall. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so this booty. Yeah. So basically, we have the we have we have the ability to hold two or three different sessions at once. So somebody may be over in A recording one genre. Somebody's over here recording another genre. And then we can also make another booth up front. You know, we turn we we pan in our office. This is that we'll show you something the halls of the rock band, a uh, bigger choir, we can accommodate them. So, really, we have three working booths. Three working booths, yes, sir. Oh, so you can actually record inside this office as well, then, right? right? In the office up front, yes, sir. Okay, which I will show you in a second. Yeah, we soundproofed it up. Yeah, first we wasn't, but we went on ahead. We had somebody, we had a couple of rock people come through here, and they was just so uh. Blown, they man was so blown about the studio and what we was out here doing. I was like, man, you know what? Let's go and do this other one. Hey, look, and for people that uh, they do music, right? The studio itself actually affects all of the music, right? Yes, sir. Oh, yes. yes so, sir. so if you're yes. so if you're in a booth that's not fully soundproof or the acoustics are not right, the music not will have a different right. sound to it. You gotta have the bass traps. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's gotta be. It's gotta sound vibrates. It pings off the wall. So. The sound traps is just like what it says, the sound traps, bass traps. Uh, if you see a lot of the studios, the windows tilted, and it should be tilted. These is already done. These was actually done by the owner, uh, Wandolo, the building. They framed it and got it together uh, when it was Studio 1160, so we left it the same. I mean, if we ain't had no problem with it, so we weren't going to tamper with it, we left it the same. Only thing we did was just redecorate it a little bit and gave it a nice little touch. Uh, so name drop for me for a minute. Who all been? Who who all locally that I should know been through the been through the studios? Uh, Goldie, uh, West End Goldie, uh, Ace, uh, Gyro, uh, Hurricane been out here, uh, G Sharp, uh, Lid, uh, man. No, you said Jai been through here too? Yeah, Jai. Yeah, Jai Jai Ro. You said a homie Jai been through here too? Yeah, Jai. Father Jai used to record out here. Uh, back in the day, Jai was recording out here. Jai Ro. Uh, man, who is Broadway Bangers? Uh, committee. Uh, and Goldie got a nice, I just I just got put on a Goldie uh -huh. about a month ago. Uh, okay. Yeah, and I'm, I'm digging his music, man. We've been rocking with Young and way back when. And, uh. He was actually engineered for Yo Gotti. Yeah, uh, Yo Gotti, Jim Jones, <laughs> Benny Siegel. Yeah. So they come to the city. They've all stopped doing all that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, my, I was recording OG Muns. 
OG Muns was doing this project out here, so that's how I got to record uh, Yo Gotti. That's how I got to record uh, Benny Siegel, Jim Jones, him, uh, Big Homie and Jim Jones is they aces. So every time, anytime Jim Jones coming through a city, he coming with Big Homie, he, big, big Homie to sent for him, and everybody get get to him, get to him through Big Big uh, Big Muns. Uh, I didn't open up for uh, Rick Ross with LID in the, in the Villa Fontana. Uh, Man, this music, man, it runs deep in me, man. I've been doing this since the 80s. Uh, I don't plan on stopping no time soon. It, it's, it's more of a passion than anything. It's a love. And, man, the people I started with is the people I'm still with. I don't set hop. I don't change up. I don't have to do nothing new or different. I'm affiliated with Whole One uh, down there off 23rd and Broadway. I still got keys to that. Uh, I'm affiliated with Out the Box Media. Shout out to Clarence and them. Man, OG show us love, and we show them love back. Man, to us, it's not a competition, man. It's it's all music, man. Uh, and we love everything and everybody. It's, it's it's strictly about music to us. It's a business. It's a business to us, but it's it's, it's strictly about music. Uh, what we got here? Did you hear some of this? Uh, yeah, put some on, man. Cause a lot of people need to know. I got a lot of followers from different cities. They don't know about about Louisville hip hop, and I'm like, man, you can come out. In Newburgh, and get that Bay Area sound, or you can get with Father John, them get that East Coast sound, and then they got what I call the Louisville sound coming up. <laughs> now, who's this we listen to now? This is Jay Clarence. This is this is this is, this is JD. Uh, we putting out a uh, Value One and Value Two. It's called Sinful Sensations. Sin. Uh, so it's jazz music you produce him. Yeah, he now nah, he made it. He, I we engineered it. Is you? Danny. So come on and tell me what I'm listening to, man. Listen to my jazz album, Central Sensations, Wide Storm. <laughs> Wide Storm edition. Okay, so look, we listen to jazz, right? We listen to keyboards, we listen to strings. What we, tell me what I'm listening to. Uh, piano, we listen to some strings, we listen to some good old guitar. Um, How long you been in the jazz, man? Man, actually, I grew up in church. My father still plays church to this day, um, St. Martin de Porres on 32nd Broadway, as well as uh, 15th Street on 22nd and Main. Um, always had a keen ear of strings, melody, uh, ballads, you know, just growing up listening to the music in the 80s, you know what I mean, from the 80s and the 90s, you know, we get hooked on the, uh, uh, the Patti LaBelle's, the, the Shaka Khan's, the, uh, the Anita Bakers, the Anita Bakers, <laughs> right, you know, so... And then me uh, listen to a lot of Kenny G going up. So there it, there it is. So what's the name of the project? Is the project out yet? No, uh, no it's it's uh, completed. It's completed. It's, it's just waiting for release date. This particular jazz album I did with my late uncle. So that's who you're hearing on on the guitar. Um, this the uh, this your first album? Uh, well, yeah, first jazz. Album. Okay. So, so what else? What other genre of music do you do? That's what I'm talking about, man. Your brother's rock. versatile out here, man. It's, just, it's, it's hard to be with these brothers and be closed minded. You know, you got to be open minded, especially when it comes to this music. Because you know, everybody listens to more than one thing. You know? So if you touch all bases, just spread it out, let it flood. You know, you can't, you can't. All right, look, let me ask you guys this since you've been around so long. What has changed since you first got into the game as compared to now? As far as production, as far as I know the way they're giving out deals has definitely changed. But but as far as production, as far as worth ethic, as far as content, as far as lyrics, have you seen a a, a, a decline? Have you seen it, it kind of stay where it's at, or or do you think it's like peaks and valleys, like the music changes from time to time? Lost the thirst for the, the, the blood, the love, the heart. I say this all the time. I say a lot of these producers are making these rappers today because because a lot of these producers putting out hot beats and I listen to the lyrics and there's no substance. You know what I mean? But but the but the production is hot. Yeah, the production's got to be hot. Uh, <clears throat> Dr. Dre said he put in a demo for 30 seconds and if it don't grab his ear, he done with it. it you know, so production's got to be hot. I mean, so that's where these producers are winning. 
they grab you with the, with the sound first. <laughs> yeah. I like that right there. <laughs> oh, man. Now, listen to me, man. We got value. He had one album, but we decided to bust it up and make it two. You know what I'm saying? To give him a value one and a value two. Well, we got something for the old heads. We got something on there for him to two step with. We got something on there for you to make you a couple of babies with. There it you know is. You know what I'm saying? Um, what's your hand? <laughs> I'm out of the baby making age. <laughs> 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 get the point. Get the point. Yeah, I get you. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> but that's all right right there. So what Kelly say? You be freestyling, man? Yeah. Come on, come on, man. Come on. You act like you on sway. Act like you on sway. <laughs> Find your beat, man, and get the people something. Is this your? Is this your? Uh, yeah, this is your one, right? Somebody holler at you, uh, Four Boy Entertainment. Four Boy Entertainment. If I'm saying it right, F O E Boy. What up? What up? What up? Oh, somebody told me to ask you about an artist named KP. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. KP. Woo! Hey, man, KP. Yeah, that's what I saw. That's what I see. The weapons. We've been, uh, man, KP, man. He, uh, man, he started this before us. But, man, we've been blessed to be part of that journey with him, man. We go deeper than music. We all grew up together as kids. And, uh, KP sings, rap, dance. Pro produces and he he didn't get back on it man uh, for a while he's running around with Static Major and them and Big Native Big Homie uh, man, he's working on a project man and uh, it's uh I shared one of them on your on on, on your post uh, he's got a lot of positive good music that he's ready to hit sit with they should so what he's doing R&B man nah, he raps he raps and he sings he's doing he's He's producing the beats, rapping on the man, singing them. Only thing he's needing us for is just the engineering and the engineer. He's doing everything himself, and he knows how to arrange it. The man has the man's vision is so great, man. It's ridiculous. He, uh, man, I man, anything I say about KP is an understatement. Man, he's a he has a brilliant mind, and man, he was made for this music. Make uh, sure you share it on his post because I didn't yeah. get to see it. Whatever it was, uh, I need man, to check that out. Oh my God, he's a beast. <clears throat> so look, do you think SoundCloud? And the internet has provided outlets for people that weren't getting looks back in the day. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I would say. So. Yeah. Because I was getting to the point where you don't need need the majors anymore. Right. Yeah. Uh, I right, come on, give me a beat, cause they, man, they begging me for you to freestyle, man. So. I'm really fan, so I'm trying to thank this one. I'm trying to thank this one. I've been listening to. Them. Yeah, that's what happened. That rich forever part two. All right, here we go, people. Yo, we all on the rights of this. Y'all know who it is and what it is. Big boy, dog. Oh. Not rehearsed. It goes, it goes, it goes. I roll with Freemason, martial arts, and music makers. No time for haters, graduate and see you later. Maneuver like I'm supposed to do it with no short tank. The way I drop these lyrics smooth, cause I constantly think. I'm a thinking man, better yet a traveler. Try to battle me and watch how I handle you, devour you. MCs for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Did I? No, I'm not a beginner, I'm a winner. Been at it, I'm OG, I'm seasoned. Everybody's talking, but y'all also know the reason how I go in. See how I switch my flow? Mr. Bulldog, yeah, baby boy, I go. To the death of me, yes, to the casting drop. Mr. Bulldog, MC, rap, hip hop, whatever you want, I can do it. I can chop and screw it and then remove it. I'm so cold blooded behind the window in front of the boys. Yeah, you know, I'm a nerd with this word and it's quite absurd. I got a mean freestyle in case they ain't even heard. Been doing this since the 90s and I ain't never stopped. Improving and grooving, yeah, I might get hip hop. The epitome of what a real MC be, that's the Mr. B U L D a a G. Uh, I like doing this for days. This is what I want to do to get paid. I sit back, sip, dip, and control and mold it. Everybody's tripping up. I'm so cold with it. I know you like it. These girls be getting extra hype. Be on the wife. Be 
get with it. They wants me to hit it, spit it, get with it, and chew it and do it. I maneuver with it. I'm cold blooded, ain't I? It's a uh, summer, nah, winter, then it's fall. When they see me coming, they start the running. I be like, come on, baby girl, don't say nothing. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You're gonna be wet by the time I finish my flow. I know. Damn, did you hear what he said? He's a 400 pound and he's arrogant as hell. Oh well, I know I smell good and they like it. Woo! I got two chicks together, now they like it. Oh, I might want to clean that up. I don't know if I can say and I don't want to mess the show up. Pay attention. And I'm still going and flowing. They ain't even knowing, but I like the showing. I do music for a living and I want to keep going. Big Bulldog, y'all, and I'm constantly flowing. Hey, there, you know what? There, hey, that's off, off the dome, yes, sir. off the dome. That's what I do. Rappers, go ahead to get your weight up. I might, hey, I might just start doing freestyle, freestyle videos. Get all the rappers in the city once a week. Come in the booth and give me. Oh, you got another one coming? I'm sitting chilling with my man Brad Harrison, doing the Urban Max no comparison. He wants an intro, so we gonna get them together. Y'all gonna trip, cause y'all gonna wanna bang it no matter what the weather. When the summer coming, y'all gonna start running to it. I'ma make y'all one, two, three step to it. Uh, when I finish, it's like Popeye eating spinach, when I, but my style be so splendid. They say, why you big? Cause my waistline's like my flow. It's constantly gonna grow, grow, grow some more. Ain't that some shit the way I flipped it? Take the microphone and Rick Ross beat and ripped it. I was the biggest MC way before him. I've been doing this since Heavy D. One, two, three, look at me. How I motivate and dominate. Create these words, these phrases, and these catchphrases. It's contagious, and I ain't even Ron Isley. I'm like Stevie Wonder. Spit my shit. They can't see it. I'm standing in the corner. When I get to this beat, Get the body bag. I'm sorry, I have to brag. I'm the coldest thing that my mama ever had. She told me back then when I first started spitting this. She said, I'm the one that gave it to you. Just remember this. She's a poor and they ain't know it, but her son like to show it. And I'm still keep growing till the beat stop going. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> hey, Louisville, Kentucky. I'm telling them, hey, we got MCs out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hey. No doubt. So check it out. Come up to the studio, AMF. Holler at us. Holler at us. A and M. Recordings. Ain't enough music group. Holler at us. Eleven sixty West Indian Trail, right behind the McDonald's. If you take the street by the old age hardware, you here. Man, nine six nine nine six seven six four seven. That's the office latest. Check us out. We available twenty four seven. And yes, I said twenty four seven for morning, noon, and night, holidays even. All you got to do is holler. You might, I might charge you a little extra on the holiday. Who knows? <laughs> but, hey, we with it. We do this nonstop. You can catch it. We leave here at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, and both of us work the morning job. It's got to be here at 7, 8 o'clock sometimes. But this is what we love doing. I love this. this is, just make no mistake, this is a passion. We've been doing this together since kids. Understand me? Since kids. So we took a dream and made it a reality. I said, our mothers... Our mothers pushed us to do this. Our mothers used to buy our equipment. We would be downstairs making music while our mothers would be upstairs eating KFC and drinking Miller High Life and coming out <laughs> checking on us. Our mothers, my mother, when we used to go into Highlands and record a Ramcat, my mothers used to come in there and tell me, if you don't rip the back out of there, boy, you ain't my son. Tell me, my cousin and my brother. Y'all, man, y'all show them what we got. Show them what we came from and what we made of. To this day, she still say the same thing. Show them what you made of. Show them what you got and where you come from. That's where it came from. Hey, well, Louisville, you heard it. I already got them on deck. I told them the Urban Voices show need an intro. I need a hook. We're going to so get them together. They're going to get me together. So, so as soon as they drop it, you know I'm going to debut it on my page where I can put it on the show. Make sure you come check these fellas out, man. They're doing great work out here. Man. We out.